Let's draw the Lewis structure for C2H7N, and we're going to assume that this is dimethylamine. Most often with Lewis structures, we put the least electronegative element in the center. In the case of dimethylamine, it's the nitrogen that's in the center. It kind of has to do with symmetry, I would say. So let's put the nitrogen in the center here, and then we'll put a carbon on either side. And before we go further, let's count up the valence electrons. Carbon has four valence electrons. We have two carbons. Hydrogen, that's in group one. It has one. We have seven of those. And then nitrogen group 15, sometimes called 5A, has five valence electrons. That gives us a total of 20 valence electrons for C2H7 and dimethylamine. So I've added the hydrogen atoms here around the carbons. Those are the methyl groups in dimethylamine. And we've used six hydrogens. Remember, we have seven here. So let's put a hydrogen right here on the central nitrogen atom. So we have these 20 valence electrons here. Let's put electrons between atoms, a pair of electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. Then clean this up a bit. And at this point, we've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 valence electrons. Carbons, they have octets. Each hydrogen has two. That's good. Nitrogen, it only has six. Let's put that last pair of electrons right here. And we're done. This is the Lewis structure for C2H7N. We could look at the molecular geometry with the molecular model. Let's do that. And that gives you an idea of the shape of the molecule. The blue is the nitrogen, blacks are carbons, and the whites are the hydrogens. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for dimethylamine, C2H7N. Thanks for watching.